Thank you. How many of you would love to come up and dance some salsa up here with me? How many of you would love to wake up Monday morning and read your financial statements with your coffee? <laughs> I understand business owners don't always love numbers, but numbers are with us. They're around us. They're integral, forgive the pun, part of our life. And measure twice, cut once is about accuracy. The movie Moneyball was about using statistics to predict future ball players' success in Major League Baseball. Numbers matter. When I got married, I had just saved a client of mine $16 million in an acquisition. So they were so appreciative that I had done this for them. They sent my wife and I on a first-class, all-expense-paid honeymoon to Hawaii. We checked into the hotel. We went to our room, a very ample-sized room. There was a bottle of champagne on ice for us with two champagne glasses and two lays. After we unpacked, I said, how about we take a warm bath and uh, drink some champagne and relax. So I started the water, I unpopped the bottle of champagne, I poured the glasses, I set the glasses on the ledge of the tub. Then I got my Minolta camera with the timer and I got a hamper and put it in front of the tub. Then she got in the tub, I hit the timer, I jumped in the tub, and there we were, posing and counting. One, two, three, hold it, it's coming, smile, smile, nine, ten, and it did go off. So I got up to go fix it, and <laughs> My numbers were off, and numbers matter. Numbers are the language of business. And the financial statements are your report cards. When you decide to go into business, you accepted the role of leader. And with that, the responsibilities of making it successful and making it profitable year after year. Business leaders need to wear many hats, need to learn all phases of their business. And if you abdicate that responsibility, it's not just yourself that you're putting at risk. If you're married, it's your capital, it's your income, it's your marital time, and your employees are counting on you to be uh, responsible and act responsibly with your uh, financial management. Otherwise, they may wake up one day and be without a job and not be able to pay their bills. Going forward, I want you to be not a CEO or chief executive officer. I want you to be a CEL, chief executive leader. Leaders must know all facets of their business, no matter whether it's the most frustrating part of the business or not. In my marriage, which started on such an up note, <laughs> uh, it didn't work out. Uh, but as frustrating as that was, it caused me to grow far beyond where I ever would have been were it not for her. And what I learned was that which frustrates us the most also makes us grow the most. So with a little bit of effort to understand numbers, yourself and your wealth will grow way beyond your current limitations. Warren Buffett's rule number one is never lose money. His rule number two is never forget rule number one. If you let money fall through the cracks of your business this year, you have to work all of next year just to recoup the money you let fall through the cracks, just to get back to zero. You've now lost two years of interest on your money, which to Buffett is the cardinal sin. With a little understanding of financial fundamentals and a few simple accounting practices, you can succeed beyond your wildest dreams. A client of mine told me that he entered into a letter of intent to sell his business. And I suggested, well, it was an unsolicited offer. I said, why don't we talk to an investment banker to validate the value of the business? We, he agreed. 
What we learned from that banker was that that banker felt he could sell the business for three times the amount that my client had just accepted. My client went back and renegotiated the, the sales price with a buyer, and that one tip put an extra $40 million in his pocket. $40 million, one tip. One tip could be worth millions, and a good financial coach will do that for you. A good financial coach will improve your books, improve your accounting practices, will review your numbers with you, and they will make tips based on their financial lens on your business. Folks, uh, are you ready to change your financial mindset and to be a better financial steward? Are you willing to be a more complete leader? It's not enough to be a CEO. From this day forward, I want each of you to be a C-E-what? Yeah. Thank you very much.